Hi everyone. Today I'd like to talk about smelling the roses. Smelling the roses? What could that be about? Well, when you look at training, our training life is a journey. You know, life itself has a beginning, it's a journey, and it has an end. It has, an e it has a beginning when you're born, it has an end when you die. When you're training, when you begin training as such, you're born into training. You enjoy it. It's a journey. Hopefully, you won't finish till you die. You should be, should be able to see right through to old age. We hope so. You know, the martial arts is it's a big area. It's a big field. It's a broad canvas. You, know, you can alter and change your martial arts training according to where you are in your life. But the thing that strikes me is students often say to me, I've done this wrong. And I say, how, how can you have done it wrong? You did it right when you came through the door and started training. From that point on, everything you do is right. You can only do it better. You know, so the thing is, where you are in your journey, right and wrong would be in perspective. After 40 years training, I go to my teacher, I'm still doing it wrong. So therefore, it's only a perspective thing. People look and say, you're really good, or I'm now doing it right. And you say, well, you're only doing it right because of what I've just taught you. But now I'm going to teach you something else, so you're doing it wrong again. So I think the thing is, training is a journey. And I think it was Alan Watts was talking about Tai Chi. And he said, Tai Chi is like music. You know, if you played music to get to the end, it would be pretty stupid. And in a sense, all the time that you're training, if you're worried about, you know, right, wrong, good, bad, you're going to be giving yourself a lot of unnecessary pain and suffering, and you're unlikely to remain training. When you walk through the door, you bow, empty your cup, and enjoy it. You, you are whatever you are. You are wherever you are on the journey. Right and wrong doesn't really come into it. You just want to learn and you want to do it better. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the training. Because there's no end to the journey other than when you drop dead. So you might as well have fun while, you, while you're doing it. And you know, when you're making the journey, smell the roses along the way. Like in a piece of music, you're not willing it to end. You're not trying to make it end. Enjoy the music. Enjoy it whilst you're doing it. Enjoy the process of learning. Enjoy the relationship of you with your other students. Enjoy the relationship of learning with your instructor. Make it a positive experience. There's nothing worse than when a student is constantly being negative to an instructor. When you correct someone and they go, oh, I've been doing it wrong. They say, no, I've just made you a little bit better. That's all, nothing more than that. You know, so there's nothing better for an instructor than when they've got a student with a good, positive attitude towards learning. So smelling the roses along the way, enjoying the relationships with other people. Hell, just enjoy moving your body. It's a lovely experience. You haven't got it for that long. It soon gets old and decrepit. So while you've got it and you can move it, have some fun. Make the journey, smell the roses. Thank you.